Do you want to create an online teacher self-introduction video that looks professional without a lot of effort? In this Canva tutorial for teachers, I'll show you how easy it is to make an online teacher self-introduction video that you can use for online companies like Cambly and Outschool. So let's get started. First, click Create Design and type in Video. You'll see a lot of different templates on the side. I like the educational video templates, so I'm going to select this one, drag it on over. And there's a second part that's very similar, so I'm going to get that one and drag it onto the timeline. The text can be edited, so just use your backspace to get rid of anything, and then highlight and type in what you would like. reposition by clicking and dragging. And there's these little clip art called elements and I want to add an American flag. So I search for American flag, drag it on over and this way they know I'm a teacher from the US. You can drag anything that's in the way out of the way and these little purple lines kind of help you get everything centered and just where they need to be. It's just for guidance. Now all of these little elements can be changed. You can add your own brand colors. So I've created my own brand kit with some brand colors and I just click these boxes on the elements and change them to my colors. So I highly suggest having some brand colors if you are a freelance teacher, just to kind of set yourself apart and it makes everything look very cohesive. So on this slide, just changing my brand colors again adding my social media handle, ESL Teacher 365, and my website as well. I'll change this to I'm looking forward to teaching you. And follow me for more lessons and tips. I use Canva to create my lesson plans, worksheets, interactive books, presentations, and more. Canva is truly an online teacher's best friend. If you would like to try out the pro version for free for 30 days to get access to all of the templates and tools and images and videos, then check out my link in the description box down below. I want to make these little social media icons match my colors as well. So first you'll need to click and right click on group and then you can access the color that's behind the social media image. Click on the three dots to duplicate because I'm going to have two different videos. One where I'm doing most of the talking in the middle. So I'm just going to remove all of these pieces and drag the main video into the center of this template rearranging any of the clip art just to make it look a little bit better. Now go to uploads. I've already uploaded two videos that I made, kind of the main video and then a second ending video, and just drag it over so your video replaces that video. Slide up the soundbar and test it out. 11 years teaching both children and adults from all over the world, both in now the sound sounds awful right now just because it's a recording of a recording, but know that it will sound better and I'll play my full video for you at the end of this video so you can see how it sounds, but just adding the sound for this bit too. Okay, so now let's talk animations. So you do have lots of different options for animating your page, which is really going to help it look more professional and just a little bit more eye-catching for your students or potential students have some fun and play around with all of these different options. I think I'll go with this one. You can also set a different animation for individual elements. In this case, my flag is going to do something else. I like this little pop. Here you can add transitions as well. So again, click those three little dots and add a transition. You can change the time, the direction. There's different kinds. I like the slide one. And then if you wanted to add one here as well, you could do one there too. 
Now if you want to test out your video, just drag it to the front and click play. I'm going to change how long this first slide is because it's just my name so I don't want it to be that long. You can easily change the duration by looking at the clock. And I think for this one I will animate each element by itself. So just going through and changing the animation so they're all the same. Testing it out. Okay, so you'll notice that it's a little bit glitchy when it transitions to the next slide. So I will explain all about that glitch later on in the video, so don't worry about it too much. I'm just typing in computer to add a computer icon because I'm an online teacher and why not? Just drag on over, reposition, put it where you'd like, and if there's anything in your way, you can just drag it. Really easy to reposition everything. Okay, so if I want to add text, I'm just going to click on the left bar on text. You can change, there's lots of different fonts, the size. I'm going to put my name here, drag it on over, and then add a subheading. And you can set those fonts, so you can have your heading you always use and your same subheading. That's something you can customize within Canva, which is really nice to have. Now I will add some information about my different qualifications as an English teacher, like my master's, my US teaching certificate, and my CELTA. You can change to bold, change the font to your brand colors, and see how it looks. So there's that weird glitch in the transition again, but don't worry, the solution is coming soon. If you click on the video, you can change the position and you can also change the duration. So I'm just cutting off a little bit of the end here. There is a way to view the video as a link by sharing it, but I don't recommend this because it's just as glitchy as when you're making the video on Canva. Instead, the best option is just to download the video to your computer. To do this, you can change the file name up at the top click the download button, and then you'll wanna make sure you have MP4 as your format and download the video. So in the end, the solution is just to download your video if you don't want it to be so glitchy. And I do also recommend adding a little bit of extra footage before and after speaking to make those transitions smoother as well. Some general tips for intro videos are film in front of a window or with good lighting. Your sound should be clear with no background noise. Definitely write a script before you film and practice it. And your branding is very important. Make sure you have those colors to help you stand out from the crowd. Hi, I'm Jamie, an American certified English teacher currently living in Australia. I've spent the past 11 years teaching both children and adults from all over the world, both in person and online. I hold a master's degree in bilingual and multicultural education from Spain, a US teaching certificate from the state of Wisconsin, and a CELTA certificate. I believe that learning another language helps learners unlock a new perspective on the world. That's why I've studied four different languages and lived in six different countries. I'm looking forward to helping you achieve your English language learning goals in my online classroom. See you there. I hope you enjoyed today's Canva tutorial for teachers on how to make an online teacher self-introduction video using Canva. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to learn how to make a children's book, a worksheet, or lesson plans on Canva, I do have tutorials for those as well, and I have some more ideas planned for the future, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Don't forget to sign up for your free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. I promise you're going to love it, and you can find me on Instagram at ESLteacher365. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy teaching and creating on Canva.